What is going on my people? It's Vid here with Casa Amigos and we are back with another video. I'm standing here with Jazz, got my main man Ish behind the camera and we are currently standing outside this beautiful property over in Hook down in Hampshire. Now before I get into any details, I'd love to say a massive thank you over to the developers at ME Developments for letting us tour this home. Now you have caught us on a very cold day down in Hook in Hampshire, but let me run you through the basics as normal. Now the property behind us comes with five bedrooms, four bathrooms, three and a half thousand square foot, a detached property and a brand new build. But let's just get straight into it because I'm so excited about this one. Let's start with the driveway, block paving as standard. You can easily fit around two or three cars in this driveway. But behind me, we've got this double carport. Now a lot of people would ask why a driveport instead of a garage? It's for convenience. You can get in and out way easier. It protects your car from typical British weather, as we all know. But if you wanted to store some stuff in here, to the right of me, we've got an extra room dedicated for that sort of stuff. So you can easily put stuff like your lawn mowers, your paints, anything that you need to store away, away from your cars, you can just put in that room next door. Now, over here, you have the second floor overhang at the front of the property. You have these three huge windows that really add to the contemporary feel of this whole house. Now, of course, you have the brown cladding up top and just below you have this gray brick. It really adds to the contrast and really makes an emphasis on this top bit just here. Now, if we take a look over to this side, you have the white canopy and then you have a gray door to enter the property. So, shall we take a look inside? I think we should. Let's, Let's do it. So the front of the property, we're greeted by these stunning porcelain tiles which run throughout the whole house. And you'll start to see more of them as we get to the open area in a bit. Now, a property of this size, you'd expect to have some security systems in place. Now, to the left of me, we've got the intercom right as you come in, right by the front door, really easy access. Jazzy, just while you're in that note, my feet are feeling a little bit cold right now, mate. <laughs> now, as it's mentioned, we've got the underfloor heating which runs throughout the whole house as well. So if your tipsies are cold, you can turn that on just there. Now, let me run you through the layout of the house. To the right of me, we've got the office area. To the left of you, Ish, we've got the downstairs bathroom, followed by some storage. Now, to the left of me, I've got the formal living area, which I'll touch on in a second, and then the open area, which me and Vid will touch on. And let's go straight into the office. I'm gonna open this door, but before I go straight in, I wanna touch on these doors. We've got these stunning blue doors, which run throughout the whole house as well, really stick to the theme. And the one thing I love the most is these black, hinge, black hinges and black handles. Now, come straight in. Have a look at this office area. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'd be over the moon. Busy men like us that have a load of stuff to do with Casa Amigos, I think this is a pretty nice area to work in. Rather than working in an office, staring at a wall all day. I don't know about you, Ish, what do you think about working in an office? Uh, do you know what, mate? I actually like the wall in my office in case my manager's looking at this. <laughs> <laughs> no, but an office area like this, I'd be more than happy with. Really spacious, you've got your sofa there, your desk area there, and you're able to look straight onto the driveway. So you've got natural sunlight coming in as well. Like I touched on, you're not staring at a wall all day. Let's jump straight out of here. I'm gonna walk you straight into the downstairs bathroom. Now again, same doors, but like I touched on before, we've got the black handles, but we've also got the black accessories in here. Black shower, black tap, black towel rack. I love that. Most people will go for chrome. It's started to become a bit outdated. They've changed it up completely and gone with black accessories. You'll start to see that in the bathrooms upstairs as well. Against these gray tiles, I think they really stand out. So one thing I love about this downstairs bathroom is at the heart of the downstairs. So if you're in the office, if you're in the kitchen, you can come straight here. You haven't got to run upstairs and use one of the en-suites. Now I touched on it before, the formal living area. Now the reason I'm calling it that is because we have another living area next door, which Vid is going to take you through. But for me, this feels like somewhere you take guests and have a chat. There's no electrical elements, no TVs, anything like that. But have a look at this living room. It's absolutely stunning. We've got the floor to ceiling windows letting in all of that natural light. Now you've got the driveway as one of your views, but the developers have also dug some area here to, to build some trees, to put some flowers, anything like that. So that could even be your view. So for you lot at home that want to Netflix and chill in your living room, I probably wouldn't recommend this living room. No, I'd probably get some curtains, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but let's take a look at this. We've got this beautiful chimney breast here. Now Vid touched on it earlier. The upstairs had that wooden cladding effect. Downstairs had that gray effect as we saw earlier and they've replicated this here just on this chimney breast. So below here, we've got the, the fire burn up rather than your gas fireplace. Now, the lower flooring, let's have a look at that. We've got this beautiful parquet flooring, which comes in the whole room. A really nice break up between the tiles and the furniture in here. If you look at the coffee tables, if you look at the tables to the right of me just here, it replicates those parquet flooring. Definitely, and just on this room, this is obviously just a show house. So you can sort of do whatever you want here. Obviously we've got the two sofas here, but you could completely change the style and make it a whole completely new room. Absolutely, our guys at ME Developers have said that if you want to change any of the flooring, if you want to change certain things, they're happy to tailor it to you. 
but that is our formal living room. Let's go straight into the kitchen. Again, have a look at these doors as well. We've got these beautiful doors matching the theme of the house, but it's got this glass cut out. And again, it's to let in that natural light. Now let's have a look at this kitchen over here. Now, as you can tell, as soon as you walk in, it's got that beautiful modern theme to it to tie in with the theme of the house. Now we've got this off-white finish, but look how much space you've got in between your working area to your sink. Now let's start with the main focus point, but this worktop here is right in between the living room. Now it's got that beautiful quartz marble effect with the low hanging lights and just opposite we've got the stools. So if you're entertaining guests, if you've got anyone over, you can have a beer with them, have a chat. You're not secluded to one room. Now back to the island in the middle, we've got our double sink now. For all our amigos at home that were watching before and watched our last video, you know that one side is for washing up and the other side is for washing the chicken. Exactly that. But I really want to touch on the other side of this island. So let's have a quick look just here. As you can see the rest of the uh, kitchen, we've got loads of space for storage, but just underneath here, we've got some extra space for your legs. So if you're sitting on the stools, then you've also got these storage units just here. So you can put things like your cutlery or plates. And if you've got guests over, they can just grab one and you can serve the food straight away. But back into this kitchen, it has a really, really modern feel. And I love it. We've got the handleless finish on all the kitchen uh, units. And it just looks like everything has a home in here. Everything is integrated and tucked away. So we've got the integrated fridge freezer, oven, microwave, and everything has a home. And you've got loads of space to play with. You've got loads of storage. But if that's really not enough for you, just to the left of me here, we've got a utility room. Now inside, we've got extra storage space, loads of cupboards. We've got the washer and dryer. And I really don't feel that you can run out of space in here. But if you're anything like me in the kitchen. What a bad cook. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually going to say a messy cook. You can uh, just chuck that in there and uh, worry about that later while your guests are around. But I'm really excited to show you the rest of this open area. I'm gonna chuck it over to Vid because I can see he's looking a bit lonely over there in the corner. So I'm gonna chuck it over to him. Here we are, we're in the open space and this is the more informal living room. It is very different to the front one. In my opinion, that one there is more for special occasions or if you're having a business meeting, then that's probably the spot for you. But over here is a very much relaxed vibe. So for example, put yourself in this position, you're having a party, you need to go cook up the food for them, you're popping over to the kitchen, but you're just an arm's reach away, you're still part of the conversation, which is the best thing about this whole place. Now, if you take a look over to this side, you now have this cutout in the wall, which allows up for up to 65 inches for a TV. And just down below, you also have this versatile space. You can either put some flowers that like they have, or in my opinion, I'd probably put like an electronic fireplace in there, get a really cozy vibe, especially for the winter, it would be very nice. Now, if you take a look at the interior design, they've gone for a double sofa and two singles there and a table in the middle. Me personally, what I would go for, I'd go for an L-shaped couch, a very cozy vibe facing the TV, throw a little fur blanket in there, fake of course. And just over here, we now have these huge, huge glass doors, floor to ceiling. They also pocket in each side, just into this door here. Same over on that side and also same just in the corner by the dining room. Now, before we get into it, let's pop over to the dining room to discuss that further and we'll get back to this. So over here, we have the dining room. They've gone for an eight seat table arrangement. Me personally, I'd say it's perfect. Six seats is a bit too minimal, 12, probably a bit too cramped. So I think they've gone for a good size here. The reason why I like this area so much and the location that they've chosen is because it looks straight out onto the garden. You have these doors that have completely opened up. You have the breeze coming through. So on a summer's evening, a nice little breeze, you're eating your dinner here. The best thing about it is that the sun actually sets on that side of the property. So while you're eating, you can also enjoy the sunset. So it's a fantastic, fantastic view. So now we're outside, we're on the patio. They've done this extremely well. Just touching again on the indoor outdoor experience. It's as if it's part of the living room at this stage. It's to the point when I walked into this property, I ended up outside here without even knowing. That's how seamless it is. But look, let's take a quick look at the garden. As you can see, it's landscaped halfway at the moment, but it is supposed to go the whole way back to those trees. Also this fencing area as well, that too will be pushed back to the trees. And again, they are looking to put some trees on the side here so that your neighbor and you have that privacy. Now let's take a quick look at this area over here. What they've gone for right now is a seating arrangement. Us personally, you know, at Casa Amigos, we love a hot tub. So that's probably what we would have over here. And Vid, just so we've got the neighboring property in the back shot there, I think it's worth noting that all of these properties, they, they have a similar look, but they've all got a different external cladding. So they've all got their own personality at the same time. Yeah, very true, very true. But look, why don't we pop back inside, we'll catch up with Jazzy and we'll go from there. So as we get to the upper half of the house, we've obviously got our guest bedrooms and our bathrooms and bedrooms. Now, before I get to that, one thing I do want to highlight is that I love the fact that they've thought about lighting so much in this house. So 
Obviously we've touched on the natural lighting from the floor to ceiling windows, but have a look at these lights coming up the stairs. If you need to run down in the middle of the night and it's dark, you haven't got to turn all the lights on, you've got these lights that highlight each step so you know exactly where you're going. You've also got this lovely light just above as well. So we've got the natural light coming in, but we've also got additional lighting as well. I love the fact that they've thought about all of that. But come up, what I'm gonna do is split the upstairs in half. So to the right of me, just so it's easy for you guys, we've got the guest bedroom. So guest bedroom one, two, and three. Just behind me, we've got the shared bathroom, the second bedroom, and just to your right-ish, we've got the master bedrooms. Now, if we take, in, take it into guest bedroom number one, you can see that even for guest bedrooms, it is huge. Now, we already know this house is full of floor to ceiling windows, letting in that natural light from behind me, but look at the amount of room you've got in here as, as a guest bedroom. Now, the guys down at ME Developments have already put the plug sockets in, and I'd imagine you'd have your beds here. You've got one socket to the right of you, one socket to the left, and there, just behind this picture, you can see they've got your units put in the wall already, so if you wanted to put a TV in, your skybox, all of that good stuff, you can easily do so. And then look at this side of the room. If your bed's coming to here and you've got your TV over there, you've got all this space as well. So if you wanted to have a desk, if you wanted somewhere to work, great space mate, for that as well. Jesse, you're forgetting the signature comment, mate. It's got tons of space. Tons of space. Tons, tons of space. space. Do you know one thing we forgot to do as well? What? Carpet, oh, check. carpet check. Carpet How's check. How's it feeling though? It's good. This is, this is good carpet, really soft. I'm going to take you guys into guest room number two. Now, Ish, I want you to stop at the door purely because this is the smallest bedroom of them all. But have a look at it. Again, tons of space. Tons, tons of, sorry, of space. Sorry, I missed the cue there, I missed it. <laughs> sorry. Tons of space, definitely though. Tons of space. He's not joking. Um, look at the amount you can do here. Again, they've got the sockets in place, so if you wanted your bed facing this way, units are already in place so if you wanted your TV. And by the way, we had to take our shoes off because this is a new property, but Ignore my Ugg slippers. Ugg, if you're watching, give us a sponsor. Uh, get, but you know, a quick close up on them, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Coming to guest bedroom number Look three. Fake. You've got this beautiful window to the left of me here, and you've also got the one behind me, which looks straight onto the driveway. Loads of light coming in. You've got the middle light right in the middle, and if that's not enough, you've even got these spotlights, which are all in the other rooms as well. And that is pretty much the guest bedrooms. Unfurnished, obviously, because if you wanted to move in, you can tailor it to exactly how you wanted it, but Loads of room, loads of lighting. They're a really, really good size for guest bedrooms. Guest bedrooms are typically quite small, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run you into this shared bathroom. Now, if you're a guest staying in this house, unfortunately, they don't come with en suites, but you've got this shared bathroom just here. So come on in and have a look at this. I'm gonna stop here. You've got the gray slate uh, porcelain tiles like downstairs as well. Unlike downstairs, we've gone for the chrome in here, but I think it's quite different. I think it's nice to mix things up. We've got this huge mirror in front of me here. Now, the reason why I've stopped right here is because to the right of me, you've got the bath, which takes up a lot of the space, and you start to think that this bathroom only has a bath in it. You've got the lovely hexagonal tiles to the right of it to switch things up. But if I go even further back, I don't know if you can get in here. Look at the size of this shower as well. Now, I don't know about you, Ish, but you could probably get one in here as well. <laughs> I'm, I'm all right, mate. <laughs> but look how much space we've got in here. Huge, huge shower. The same tiles, you've got this cut out here if you wanted to put your shampoos and stuff. But I really like the fact that it's, you, you think it's hidden, but it's actually a huge no, shower. No, to be fair, I actually one. had no idea this Exactly, shower, exactly. So you've got the bath there, the shower there, toilet, which is floating as normal, your sink. And one thing I really do love is you've got that huge mirror running through the whole back wall and just on top, I don't know if you can see, you've got some LED lighting as well that you can change. I can see, mate, don't you worry. Perfect. It's, it's, I think it's a great bathroom, especially if you're a guest, you've got everything in here that you need. So if you'd like to follow me into the secondary bedroom, as you can see, the first thing that you see is this huge window that looks straight onto the garden. If we have a look here, you have the double bed. On each side, there are plug points. On that side specifically, you do have the USB point, so it is very efficient. Opposite the bed, very, very large wall, probably big enough for a good sized TV. And just over here, you have the ensuite. So inside here, it's all done by a hands grower. You have the rainfall shower head up there with a hose shower just below. And then you have this huge mirror that spans across from the shower to the wall with LED lights at the top. So it is very, very clear. So now let's take a quick look at the master bedroom to finish this tour. 
So as you walk out here in the landing, you have these two skylights as you look up. Really big skylights, they're bringing a lot of light into this area. And just like Jazz says, Get that, natural light. that natural light. So take a look over here, huge window, outlook straight onto the garden. And my favorite thing is there's actually a living roof just on top of the dining room, just outside this window here. Once those flowers have grown through, it's gonna look fantastic. So over on this side, if you take a quick look at the wall itself, this paint is actually done by Faro and Ball. Very luxury paint and a very premium finish. Now opposite the bed, of course, you do have these fixtures for a TV. So you can fit in a TV and make it look very seamless without any wires showing. Now on the bed, really large bed you have here. You could probably fit more than a king, but this suits just well. And on each side, you also have these plug points. This side as well has the USB plug points for that efficient charging, which is a really, really, really good feature. Now, let's have a quick look at the walk-in wardrobe. So, really spacious walk-in wardrobe. Here you have these pull-out drawers where you can fold your clothes, put them in there, scarves, belts, whatever you need to. And on each side, you have this mirror inside the actual wardrobe itself. So, if you're getting ready in the morning, in the evening, you can make sure you're looking good. So, let's take a quick look over into the bathroom now. So in this bathroom, very, very similar to downstairs in the guest bathroom, you have these black features, so the black flush, tap, shower head, and also hose, all done by a hands grower. And with the sink and the actual toilet itself, again, they're very seamless because they're both floating. No pipes underneath, a very nice finish. That's pretty much it for this room. Why don't we sum up and we'll meet downstairs with Jazz to finish off the tour completely and give you our final points. So to wrap up, I love this property. I love the fact it's a really ultra modern design in the middle of a village. They've done it extremely well. How about you, Jazz? I think for me, it'd probably say this open space behind us. I love the fact we've got that living room, the dining room and the kitchen that all ties in together. But the cherry on top is that beautiful sunset that can be seen throughout the rear of the property. I agree, I agree. So one last thing, we'd like to make another special thank you to ME Developments for letting us tour this property. They've done a fantastic job the whole way throughout. If you want to find out more about them, their link will be in our description below. Please do check them out. And that's it, ladies and gents. That brings us to the end of our video. Now look, We've been overwhelmed with the love and support that we've received over the past couple of weeks, but please don't stop there. If you like our videos and want to see more content, please make sure you like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and we'll be back really soon with another video.